This is an NBC News special report. Here's Brian Williams. And good day from New York. We're coming on the air, sadly, to report video evidence that seems to show another American has been beheaded by the radical ISIS militants. In this case, another American journalist, our chief foreign affairs correspondent, Andrea Mitchell, standing by in Washington to fill in some of the blanks in this story. Andrea? Well, we have not confirmed the details, but the site uh, website is saying that Stephen Sotloff, the American who we know was being held by ISIS originally in Syria, in Raqqa, in northern Syria, has been beheaded. We saw the appeal from his mother in Florida. He was a Florida native, 31 years old, a freelance for Time magazine, for Foreign Policy magazine and other journals. Uh, his mother, Shirley Sotloff, with an appeal directly to the head of ISIS al-Baghdadi saying that you are the caliph, you are the head of the caliphate, you can be merciful, show your mercy, uh, give him uh, a release because he is not responsible for President Obama's foreign policy, he is an innocent. Brian? So ISIS once again uh, acting uh, in a way dis disseminated uh, using the world's uh, media and Andrea exactly. ISIS has already remained in the news these past several days, the pressure increasing on the Obama administration to do more. We will have a complete report on this, obviously, along with the rest of the day's news when we join you tonight for NBC Nightly News. For Andrea Mitchell and our Washington Bureau, I'm Brian Williams, NBC News, New York.